And for semi-final number two of our K1 rules, minus 72 kilogram full man tournament. And please welcome firstly to the blue corner from Greece, Chris Avramidis. Well, a uh, four-man tournament, never favourable conditions, but taking one at this late notice for Chris Avramidis is uh, pretty brave indeed, replacing the injured Seb Ketcherkes for the last couple of days or so. Don't know a great deal about Chris Avramidis. Maybe you think you may have seen him around before. Yeah, I recognise his face. Uh, the Greeks from this gym do come to fight. They are tough. Um, and like I say, I think I've seen this guy. Um, I'm not sure where, though, so I'm not much help. Sorry for that one. That's absolutely fine. We'll forgive you for that one. Well, Connor Stewart, his opponent, we'll know a little bit more about him, so he'll be up shortly, but making his way to the ring, Chris Avramidis. As we mentioned, the winner of this four-man tournament Winner takes all, guaranteed £2,000 prize money. And if you did watch the Muay Thai Grand Prix back here in November, you'll know just what a terrific little tournament it was. Charlie Peters it was, he walked away with a victory. Chris Avramidis! So Chris Avramidis, by way of Greece, starts the second semi-final in the blue corner. And please welcome to the red corner from Irith and Kent, Connor Stewart. Well, Connor Stewart made a bit of a name for himself in the Total Combat Championships last year on Box Nation, winning an eight-man tournament. Stand-up boxing that time around, but he's got good hands, tall, rangy southport. No stranger to the sort of energy saving tactics required to win a tournament of, of this scale. But the question is, Dave, is can he do that when it's K1 rules and how will he adapt to the change there? And also, how will he adapt to the change of a, of a late replacement opponent when you've been preparing for somebody for presumably seven or eight weeks and then suddenly there's a change and an unknown quantity? I think when you're in a tournament, it Connor is less apparent because Stewart. you have to be ready for any eventuality. In a tournament, you never know what the draw is going to be like. You never know how everybody's going to fight. Um, very different to a single fight. If you have a single fight and the opponent changes and you've been very specific in your training, that could mess and you up. So, semi final number two of LK1 rules, minus 72 kilogram four man tournament will be contested over three three minute rounds. Introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. Representing Condolegis in Greece, it's Chris Nonstop Avramidis! <laughs> and across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, representing Nemesis Jim in Erith Kent, it's Connor Stewart! Okay, fire, send it to me. My guys, send it to me. I mean, at first glance, uh, Connor Stewart, right, much, guys, much taller man. Fine on the K1 rules. Both understand those rules, okay? Then we knock down. Make sure you go to neutral corner. I will not begin the count until you do so. Touch gloves, gentlemen. Back to corners. Okay. You ready? You ready? Fight! Well, it'll be interesting to see Connor Stewart coming a bit more from a boxing background. How the ha how the hands are. Again, as we expected in the southpaw stance, landed. One, lands early. Two, and what three, did you say, Dave, four, just moments ago? You said, five, well, one semi-final could six, be a bit brutal. One seven, could end very quickly. Eight, and will okay, Connor Stewart be looking to pounce on this? Yeah, so poor left down the middle, that was. Wait, wait, wait. One knee in the kick, guys, remember. Wait. Short knee there, and has that rattled Chris Avramidis early? Was it a flash knockdown? Yeah, big difference in, again in Muay Thai, a, a quick knockdown like that, if you get straight back up, you wouldn't get a count. In K1, if you touch the floor, you have to be counted. That means that's a 10-8 round. The Greek has it all to do. Still very early days. It's funny, Connor doesn't really have a, a typical boxing stance there, really. And he's adapted well. Imagine that high kick, a bit of reddening around the left eye of 
Avramidis. Perhaps a little bit of swelling early too. Connor just pushing his opponent back there and just showing his strength. Stuart able to throw those high kicks from long range too. Jumping punch from Avramidis just missed narrowly. Well, since the knockdown, he's shown many signs of, of being too hurt, and he seemed to work his way back into this without too much bother, Avramidis. So perhaps it was just the flash knockdown that we thought. Body kick driven in there from Stewart. Yeah, Connor Stewart does lift his chin a little bit when he leans back, which is a slight concern. Um, and if you're thinking about who's in the final, Luke Whelan will punish you for that. I imagine Luke Whelan will be backstage watching this with uh, a keen eye. Definitely, this is when he can look for uh, some tips to go into the final with. Better from Avramidis. Just a little bit of pressure applied to Stewart there. It's becoming a much more even fight now. Now that uh, initial, oh, just as I say that. Double left hand from Stewart along the ropes. Snap the head back of Avramidis, then one to the body. Oh, nice counter, just walked him onto. Counter right hand, making him miss with his own. Good opening round there from both gentlemen. I think they have the measure. Corners, 10 seconds. Okay, seconds out, round number two. Let's go, seconds away, round number two. Let's go. Round guys, seconds out. Ready, guys? So, round number two. Jim Connor Stewart in the red corner. Chris Avramidis in the blue. The winner, of course, meets Luke Whelan in the final later on tonight. £2,000 prize money. combination from Stewart with a low kick and then the body kick with the rear leg and a nice teep there oh big hands there from the Greek as well and a head right, kick eating up time, time. Here we go. yo you help the votes okay don't hold the votes you understand that okay let's go time back on fight some good exchanges there from both guys Greek's hands much tighter now. Uh, Avramidis does not want to get caught with those hands. I, I like Connor uh, Connor Stewart's counter punching is really good. He, he waits for the Greek to trigger and then counters with that uh, short right hook at the front. Caught him in a couple of those in the first round. And that's just a slight. Feel of relaxation to his work. Nice counter again there with the left hand. Yeah, and again, the Greek, when he's backing out, he's ducking his head back as he does so, which is very, very dangerous, especially against a puncher. And he's caught with a short knee there. Oh, Avramidis trying to just turn this one a little more ugly. God, you can hear the venom going into every shot between these two. He's suddenly open up, short knee on the inside, though. And Avramidis took it well. Connor Stewart ridden out. A little period of pressure there from the Grecian. Oh, terrific knee there. 
looks as if Avramidis has suddenly decided to click into third gear. Spinning fist. Both gentlemen fighting at a hard pace. Like we said earlier, the first fight was was a good hard three rounds. This one's looking to be the same. And Stuart just starting to show, for me anyway, the first signs of a bit of fatigue in the legs there. I'm sure what you're, you make of that, Dave. Yeah, I agree, and I see the Greek seen it too. That's why he's coming forward. Well, that was lovely work from Stuart as we were just questioning what he had in the tank, caught the front leg and just dropped Avramidis with the left hand. Oh, lovely lead left again from Stuart. He's found it hard to miss with that one tonight. Yeah. For me, this is his game, isn't he? Yeah, he keeps coming forward. I think he senses that Stuart is tiring slightly and wants to take advantage of that. Stuart has put a lot into these first two rounds, but Avramidis still there, still yeah, riding contention. Jogs back to his corner. Look at the body language in the both corners. Connor Stewart there just leaning over, looking a bit more tired. The Greek breathing, but he looks like he's up for it. And he certainly doesn't look like a man who's taken this at short notice, though. <laughs> no. So there is Connor Stewart. Focus looking fairly relaxed in the eyes. There's Chris Avramidis just receiving his final set of instructions for the last round. And well, while he's taken a number of flush shots to the head, just through the left hand, he looks relatively unmarked. Very true. Might be that streamlined hairdo. So the final three minutes of sportsmanship between the two. Connor Stewart in the red corner. Chris Avramidis in the blue. Remember that final place up for grabs against Luke Wheeler later on tonight. I saw the uh, the Greek corner telling him to throw the left hook over the top, so it'll be interesting to see if that is utilised. Seems that Stuart is considerably rangier with the legs and the hands. He's able to just bring Avramidis onto shots. You see him there, just takes half a step back, doesn't he? Just trying to bring him into the space. Oh, that's nice work from him, but Avramidis now pouncing on it. Greek just shaking his head to say, you miss me. But that one landed hard. Oh, terrific stuff. Oh, a big knee up the middle there. And has he got Avramidis in trouble? Yeah, he rode that well. Well, he's tough, isn't he? Yeah, he's coming straight back too. He seems to want to even out every exchange. When he gets caught and he, he ostensibly he thinks he's going to take a back step, he does the opposite and comes forward. And I think that's got to be important for the judges, isn't it? Very much so. And especially in K1, it's one for one. And you need to be one up. And he understands that clearly. Oh, spinning back kick there from Connor Stewart. But he's eating some big hands on the way out. Well, Connor Stewart must be wondering what he's got to do to back this man up. Every time he lands, Avramidis is coming forward more than he was before the shot landed. And it's got to be disheartening, this. And there's that left hook. Oh! Accidental shot. Oh, the referee said, fight on. Oh, that punch. Sorry. Stewart is hurt there. Yeah, that punch seemed to hurt him. 50 seconds to go in round number three. And it's Connor Stewart running out of gas. Nice short right on the inside. Push kick to try and drive Whelan back. Now drives the knee, and that was better from him. But again. Oh, and a big left land. Landed flush on Avramides. For the first time, he was wobbled, and he was pushed back there. Oh, lovely lead. Left uppercut. It's the head of Avramides starting to wobble a little bit now. Are the feet getting flatter? Stewart 
trying to line up that shot. Spinning back fist from Avramidis. Both men with little left in the tank. And one of them has got another nine minutes. Long knee driven in. Lead left hand. We're going into Stewart. the closing seconds of this boat. Terrific finish. Both men just throwing single shots. Oh! Fantastic. What a fight. <laughs> Goodness me, and it's uh, quite incredible. They've both got a smile for each other yeah. at the end of it all. What a great boat. Well, what a night it's going to be, if that's any indication. And both of these men really worthy of a final place. But it and can only be for one of them. Connor Stewart smiles, but goodness me, he will go back to his changing room. A tired man. Yeah, that's With going to be key, I reckon, going into this final. Uh, I do think that Red Corner took that. He, he had a 10-8 round. Uh, and, and then dominated with some good shots there at the end. But what we'll be telling is how tired is this uh, made him because Luke Whelan is tough and uh, well, he didn't look too tired after that last Ladies fight. Ladies and gentlemen, no, show your appreciation didn't. for both men after an absolute war there. And after three hard fought rounds of action, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favour of your winner and through to the final of our four-man tournament, fighting out of the red corner, it's Connor Stewart! Good decision there, I thought, and, and uh, a good tough fight. This uh, final has the makings of a war. Avramides. Well, Luke Whelan will have been watching that backstage with a wry smile, I imagine, knowing that that's taken an enormous amount out of Connor Stewart. He didn't necessarily take a great deal of punishment, but he had to really, really work. And he was made to throw a high volume of shots to keep a really game Chris Avramidis off of him. And you just wonder how much that has taken out of him. And, uh, well, makes for a great final in a couple of hours' time. So I hope you'll stick with us for that. Yeah, I think the big difficulty with tournament fighting is that these guys are both going to come out the ring. Uh, obviously, Luke Whelan's got a little bit longer to, to rest up. But you imagine the adrenaline and everything that's gone into this fight. You fought your heart out. Now you've got to go away and cool down, let that relax, and then build that all up again to come out and have the final for that £2,000 prize money.